First, we need to select a background that is suitable for what we are going to create. We can change the background as we like. That means this background at one time could be a jungle, another time it could be changed to a ground or even a house. We have to add a background of a park. Why do we need a background? When there is a nice background, even our creation is going to look nice. Rather than seeing a butterfly fly across a white background, it would be nicer to see it fly across a garden. So, because of that, we are going to add a background. Now, let's see how to add a background. Wanting a background is one thing, but in order to get it, we have to give a command. So, where could this command be? First, let's click on the button World. Then, we see a lot of blocks. Look at the first command that we see. It is set background. S E T set B A C K G R O U N D background. We click on this block and drag it. We call this block coding because the coding that we need is within these blocks. We can move this to any place within our workspace. We call this dragging. See, when we drag this block closer, the lower part of the when run block changes to yellow color. We can now connect the block that we dragged to the when run block. So now what happened? The background has changed from white to purple. So this is the block which changes the background. Let's say its name once again. Set background. S E T set B A C K G R O U N D background. What we want is not a purple color background, but rather a park. So how do we do that? There is a small arrow here. Click on it and see what happens. Now I have clicked on it. See, there are many pictures here. Let's click on one of them. I'm going to click on the picture which shows a rainbow. Wow, the background has changed. Let's also look for a park. I'm going to click on this small arrow now. Now let's see if there is a park. Here it is. I will pick this park. Now we are done. So we can pick a nice background like this.